I finally arrived in Istanbul at about five to eight this evening and I'm waiting for my luggage. The story of my life. Um, yeah, I've just seen one of the cases actually, so fingers crossed we get reunited. So this is an interesting venue. Um, with my gig and with my act, I do get to travel all over the place. And I go to places that I would never normally kind of, you know, visit. Um, but sometimes when you turn up to a venue, you think, oh, it looks beautiful, but the acoustics can be a nightmare when you're doing vocal comedy. Um, and um, I've just done a sound check and it's very echoey, but hopefully um, it'll be okay. But with high ceilings, it can be a nightmare. Um, but you don't think about that. Well, you do. I've done gigs like that before. Natural History Museum. That can be a nightmare of a gig. Anyway, what a beautiful location. It's taken me an hour to get here from my hotel. And now I'm going to try and go back to my hotel, have something to eat, get changed, and then come back again. The traffic here is unbelievable. through passport control and um, flying Turkish Airlines business class. And I have to say, I've never had a business class check-in where you sit down at the check-in desk. There's like a double sofa for you to sit down while they check you in. I didn't sit down because I was too eager to get through so I could go for a week. But um, I thought that was a nice touch. And now back here in Istanbul Airport International, ready to fly back to Rome.
there's Albert's friend, dead Wally, playing the piano. Hello, Wally. Hello, Albert. Hope you're enjoying the music here in the lounge, Turkish Airlines. Albert, you coming down? Come on, hurry up. Yes, just coming down now. Ça sentait bien. Albert? Oui? You okay? Oui, oui, c'est très bien. Comment ça va? Um, ça va bien. Yeah, I'm, I'm good, thanks. Uh, you're okay? Oh, oui, oui, oui. Oui, au droit. Oh là là. I didn't know Albert could speak French. He can't. How was that?